friends and welcome to the channel for a video on a rare midweek towards the end of the week edition. Um, I was going to do this yesterday, but I've uh, been dealing with some more health problems yet again. Unfortunately, I uh, had some crippling uh, foot neuropathy. Anyway, I'm on some meds, um, some steroids that are helping with the pain and the inflammation. But they make my eyes more blurry, which is going to make this challenge even more interesting. Because, yes, it's the 10-minute challenge. I'm um, started by... Who the hell started this? Jack, the virtual groom room. He started this. Um, great guy. Great channel. Not so sure about this challenge. But, anyway, we're going to give it the old college try. So, the soap I'm going to use on this. Uh, a trusted favorite. It's going to be First Canadian Dickens Cider. I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere. Absolutely great scent. I love this soap, and I know this soap will lather up quick. And even if I don't get the big, huge, voluminous lather, it's not going to matter, because this is slicker than goose shit on an iced-over tin roof. So, there's some marketing for you. Brush is going to be my Coyote Cuts Psychedelic Funk. This beautiful brush here with a 24 millimeter synthetic knot and will be the matching aftershave. Now, could have done this with a DE. It would be prudent to do this with a DE. It would be smart, giving you know, the visual issues I have. But Johan, who tagged me in this, did it with a straight and, well, I have to do the way Johan does it. And I see that Nomeo just did uh, one with the straight. Uh, great job, Lee. You uh, got it done in under 10 minutes. It's very impressive considering it takes you 15 minutes to lather. <laughs> just kidding, brother. I love you. Don't kill me. All right, so the timer starts for me because I'm a face lather when the brush hits the, um, the soap. So I have my kid's cell phone here. My old cell phone, it locked on me. I didn't know how to uh, unlock it, but I figured it out. <laughs> it almost passed code. So I'm going to hit the timer on this and then start lathering. So. And we are off. All right. Let's see if we can do this. This is a no prep shave, by the way. Uh, two days of growth, I do believe. Uh, I haven't put any any conditioner on my skin or any pre-shave oil or any of that stuff. That's a good load right there. I'm not going to end with panic and kill myself. I am going to uh, close the tub up and away we go. We'll lather. Now I'm not going to go for the huge, you know, super voluminous lather. I don't need it with this soap. I just need to build enough lather for three passes. And going with a synthetic is a good choice. So it's easy to build a lather with a synthetic. It'll pack the bristles quick. You don't have to worry about the brush eating your lather. I find sometimes badgers, I have to approach them with a different technique for lathering because sometimes you don't get a bunch of lather right down to the center of the brush. So with a natural hair brush, I tend to splay sooner now. Oh my god, this soap smells good. I think one more application of water will get me there. Brushes. Fairly well full. Make sure I scoop the stuff off the neck, get it back in the bristles. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Should be enough for three passes right there. All right. 
right. The blade wet, and here we go. This is the time not to rush. So far, so good. Man, this soap is slick. First pass in the books. She maybe I have might have three days growth, not two. With uh with uh hollow razor, extra hollow grind like that. I can usually tell if I have more than two days growth. It's not really tuggy, it just, well, I can just tell. It's, it's not quite as smooth on two days of growth or less. Oh yes, forgot to mention, I am tagging I'm tagging my usual victim, Lyle, the Sask Shaver. He'll be up after this. I'd love to see you crack out a sub 10 minute shave. I have no idea how I'm doing on time here. I think I'm doing all right. This we'll know in a minute here. Oh yes, and I guess I should have mentioned this doesn't end until you uh, apply the splash. An interesting challenge, to be sure. Do cold water rinse. I'm not going to do any pickups because that was actually a pretty good shave. Go right 
into the splash. And not to toot my own horn, but I really can't see all that great now for shaving. Everything is in the shadow down here. Splash is going to be the triple X version of that on the camera of the Dickens Cider. This is with the alcohol, extra bourbon. Ah, no burn, just like I expected. And that's the shave, so timer, stop. One minute and 31 seconds left. Give myself maybe a eight to 10 second buffer because I had to unlock the phone again. So there you go. There you go. Well, I'm feeling pretty proud of myself. I'm feeling very proud of myself. Actually, I didn't know if I was going to <laughs> get that done. So that's the shave, guys. A uh, sub 10 minute straight razor shave. Not bad for this old hat blind fella. It's a good shave. Not a BBS, but definitely a DFS. I can live with that. There will be no touch-ups off camera. That's it. So thanks to all the subscribers. Thanks to Johan for uh, tagging me. Um, Lyle, let's see what you can come up with. And thank you. Thank you to everybody for watching. Um, stay tuned for this weekend. I'm tagged in another challenge, the Williams Challenge, but I'm waiting on a mail call. And if I get the mail call, hopefully tomorrow, I'll have something really cool to share with you all on Saturday. So, or if it's not here, then I'll do the Williams Challenge on Saturday. Anyway, stay tuned. Something exciting is coming. Can't wait to share it all with you. So that's it. Thanks again. As always, friends, have a great day and an even better shave. We'll catch you on the weekend. Ciao.